What is up YouTube, it's Sally from Tech Nuts and welcome to an unboxing of the Asus X200CA 11.6 inch touchscreen notebook. Now before we start off with the unboxing, let's quickly go ahead and talk about the specifications. So you get 1.4 GHz dual core processor, that's Intel Celeron not i3. You've got 4 GB of DDR3 RAM and also you get 500 GB of storage which is you know pretty good for media, videos, music, etc. Now, one of the reasons I bought these laptops is, it, well, this laptop, first of all, is less than 300 pounds, a penny shy of 300 pounds. And I just wanted to see what are the real differences. If you're going to university, for example, do you really need an i3, i5? Uh, I'm gonna test this machine out just to see how well it copes, because let's be honest, if you're going to university, you, you are only going to need it for Word, PowerPoint. If you're doing computer science, you're gonna need it for a few extra programs. For example, a program that run Java, C Sharp, etc. So I'm going to test that out and let you know how it goes in the future if it's you know up to its job. So the first thing when you open the box, you're going to see that Asus laptop covered really, really nicely. So you know it won't have any scratches, any dents when it's in transport. So let's put that to one side because we'll get back to the main attraction of the show later on. Then we have this compartment where the laptop was based, and then we get two <laughs> manuals. That's it. Nothing else. Uh, so the first one is, as you can see, notebook PC, use the manual, Asus. So just giving you a guide on how to use it, uh, what are the shortcuts, what the buttons do if you're a newbie, etc. But if you've used the laptop before, you won't really need that, would you now? Come on. Just to bear in mind as well, you don't get Windows 8.1 preloaded on the machine. It comes with Windows 8, so you don't get that start button on the bottom left. Finally, we come back to the charger. Now, as this is a very, very small computer, it's a, it's a notebook actually. So 11.6 inch touch screen. So you've got 10 points of touch on the actual screen itself. And it comes with a really, really small charging block. Uh, that just plugs into the wall straight away. So a three pin plug because I live in the UK. Cause this is, you know, not drawing much power at all. You've only got a Celeron processor and the four gig of RAM. Um, you know, you don't need a massive brick to power the whole machine up. So that just goes in there, easy as one to three, plugs in and that goes straight into the wall socket. Okay, so let's get back to the Asus notebook. So it's obviously going to have a cover on it to prevent it from being dusty, having scratches on etc. So the first thing you see is the Asus logo in silver, a really nice black finish on that as well, it's got a really nice feel to it. And then let's quickly, you know, look at the back. So as you can see, we've got the Windows 8 logo. So it's a Windows 8 notebook, obviously. And then we have, you know, ventilation holes to exhaust tea, etc. So let's quickly talk about the I.O. of the actual notebook itself. So on the far left, you have SD cards that can transfer data, view pictures from a camera, etc. We've got micro and headphone port, two USB 2.0. We've got the LAN port and a Kensington lock on the far right. OK, so let's quickly look at the back. Let's switch quickly. So as you can see, nothing on the back apart from the two hinges, which obviously keep the display up. And then finally, we've got HDMI, which is good. You can display it to a big screen. VGA, power output. And then we have USB 3.0 for super fast data transfer speed. And then we have exhaust uh, ventilation grills, you know, to exhaust all the heat out that the CPU and other components create. So let's flip the notebook back and open it for the first time. So always really nice and reassuring, you know, to open the product first time. So we get the screen protector to cover the screen. And then we have the mouse pad and the keyboard. So let's quickly have a look at the mouse pad in closer detail. It makes a really, really nice clicking noise. So you know you get that feel that you have clicked on a link. And then we've got home Intel inside Celeron. And then we also have five LED indication button to to let you know what's wrong or what's running on the computer. And then finally, let's quickly look at the keyboard. The keyboard is really nice. I was using it for about five minutes and you get really nice feedback for it. So, you know, it's pretty good on a 300, sub 300 pound machine. So now we have the notebook turned on and the first thing obviously come on, it's a touch screen notebook. Let's have a look at the touch screen functionality. So really nice and fluid. You have 10 points of access. So yes, that's eight fingers and two thumbs. Yes, I know that there are eight fingers because your thumbs are not fingers technically. Anyway, so you can use it, you know, to use charms, to make the most out of Windows 8, etc. Okay guys, so I'm coming near the end of my unboxing and just to, you know, clarify on my previous point, one of the main reasons for this video is just to see, you know, university students, I was a university student at one point and, you know, it's not easy, money is very tight. I want to see if you really have to spend, you know, two, three hundred pounds more 
to do the same thing. For example, most of the, I'm just giving a general idea, most of the students will be using Office, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, etc., with exception of some. So I wanna see if this, you know, do will do all that job. Obviously it will because word processing takes up really little power, but I'm gonna be bringing out a review and showing you how fast it exactly is and if it's right for you. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.